Hey everybody, welcome back to Squarebox Games. Today we've got another Unmatched Adventures. Mothman and the Blob are being taken on by She-Hawk. I went ahead and I started her in the fourth starting space. I usually start everyone in the first, but let's switch it up today. So the last time I played with She-Hawk, uh, it wasn't on camera, but boy, it was a quick game. So we'll see if uh, Mothman stands more of a chance of this time. So I've already set out the bridges and set up the game. Uh, threat markers there. We've got one doom token on the bridge. We're gonna draw up to our hand size of five. Here's what we got here. Cease and desist, okay. I think we're gonna be, oh, there we go. During combat, you may spend an additional action and make this card's value nine instead. Okay, so that's what we're starting with. Let's see what we have with the initiative deck. First up is Mothman. He's going to go first. So he's going to want to move three spaces and attack us. So we're going to go one, two, three. And he's going to attack us. Let's see if we have any defense we want to use. I guess I'll do this, just in case it cancel all effects. So, so we're going to get attacked by Mothman here with unimaginable terror. So um, immediately it's going to cancel all effects. We're not attacking, so that doesn't matter. None of this matters. So it's a four versus a one. So we are going to take three damage. She-Hawk starts with um, 20, so she's down to 17. And we've been hit. Um, so Mothman went. Let's see who's next. Yes, it's us. Okay. Ooh, okay. This is nice. See, here's the good thing with She-Hawk about how aggressive the opponents are in uh, these unmatched adventures is we are going to be able to use two actions just to straight up attack with this. So we're going to do this for the first attack, because we are right adjacent to Mothman already. The Savage She-Hulk. During combat, you may spend an additional action and make this card the value 9 instead. So unless we get like a, uh, a faint card. Okay, so the attack. I always put the attack on the left. So She-Hulk is going to be attacking with... Oh, I forgot. Hold on. At the start of your turn, you can discard a card to deal damage equal to its boost value to a fighter in your zone. Because I think, yeah, let's just get rid of, uh, we'll get rid of this. Watch this. Oh my gosh, we got lucky. So, nine. So we are attacking with a nine because I'm going to spend both my actions versus a two here. So, uh, increase the value of this card by one for each destroyed bridge, which is none. I'm going to spend two things to make this a nine, so it's a nine versus a two. So we're going to get him down at seven damage, so we're going to get him down to only two health in the first turn. Nice. And then Mothman is going to go to the closest uh, empty starting space, which will be right here. Not bad. So we use both of our actions. So I still have these two cards. That's okay. Um, the blob is going to be up next. He's going to move. I'm going to move him this way. One, two, three. He's going to attack us. You know what? I am just going to. I'm going to take it. No matter what happens, I'm going to take it. Uh, that's a one. Deal one damage to each opposing fighter. Reach acid token and honor adjacent to their space. There are none, but I will take a hit. We'll be down to 16. Uh, that's the end of round one. So Mothman's going to increase the threat by one, plus however many counters are on the lowest bridge, which is one. Nothing happens here. And I forgot to get the acid tokens. So, ugh. I forgot to get the acid tokens, and guess what? 
the box for this game is underneath my tripod. So here's what we're gonna do. We're just gonna pretend this is an acid token right there. <laughs> and then we're gonna shuffle up. So I'm gonna shuffle these encounter cards. Unleash initiative cards. I feel like I've shuffled. I feel like they're shuffled. So, the beginning of round two, first person is going to be us. Hmm. I can discard a card that deal damage equal to my boost value to a fighter in my zone, but I don't care about the blob. So, I'm going to maneuver here. And my move is two, but I'm going to. I'm going to boost it to get right up to Mothman. One, two, three. And then he's only got two health, so. Oh, no, 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 no. Sorry, I'm not going to do that. I'm going to maneuver. And go here. I'm going to play. Because I'm not going to waste my boost. I'm going to do this. Move up. She hawk up the four spaces. She may move through opposing spiders if she's adjacent to a opposing fighter. One, two, three. Gain an action. So for our third action, we're gonna attack here. And I'm gonna use, um, we use this and hope Mothman doesn't have a, a good card. I need something with one or less defense. Nope. All right. So during combat, okay, blah, blah, blah. So Mothman can't leave because they're adjacent to each other, but I am gonna deal one damage to him. His defense is only two. So he's down to one. So if I can keep him in my zone at the beginning of next turn, I can just kill him with my just throw something power. So let's see who's next. Mothman. So he's going to face this way. He's going to attack me. Uh, <coughs> I might as well just defend with this. No, I'm just going to take it because... I have 17 health and I need a card to discard at the beginning of my next turn. So I'm gonna take whatever this is. Uh, it's gonna be four and deal one damage to each chase and opposing fighter for each fighter. We had a doom token. So I'm gonna take four. I'm gonna be down to 12. I was at 16 health, sorry. So we're at 12. We're gonna add a doom token there because I take a damage because we're adjacent, which gets me to 11. And now the blob goes. And he can't get to me in three, I don't think. One, he can't. So he's gonna stay, which means the threat tracker goes up one. And that's the end of the round. So nothing happens with me, Mothman. We're gonna go one plus the number of dude tokens on the lowest bridge, which is one, two. Ooh. And then we're gonna add, we're not gonna add um, an acid token because there already is our pretend acid token. Oh, I don't need to be shuffling this way. There's already a pretend acid token on top of uh, the space the bulb's on right now. Okay, so we are at the beginning of round three. It's going to be us. Yes, okay. Well, what I'm going to do is just, I'm going to play, just throw something. I'm going to throw my legalese right at Mothman. Uh, and deal damage equal to its boost value to a fighter in my zone, which is one, and Mothman is dead. Bam, just like that. Ooh, got him. All right, so that that was cool. Um, the last time, the first time I played with She-Hawk against Mothman, like I said, it wasn't recorded, but it was only two rounds. This only took three, but really it was only... I didn't even do any actions. I just used my ability, so... Yet again, like really aggressive characters in this game uh and unmatched like she-hulk the t-rex uh fighters that you really want to be melee and be super aggressive and ride up against your enemies they're gonna have an advantage here in unmatched adventures because the nature of the way the way the villain works is they just they are aggressive they want to get up against you and be adjacent to you if possible so you can use that to your advantage and if you can get a fighter with 20 health or 27 or whatever the T-Rex has and just 
go side to side, punch versus punch, you're going to beat Mothman every time, especially if you're playing just one player. If you're playing two and they've got 20 health, you may need to be a little strategic, but you are also having another player help you at that point. But yeah, that's another just quick uh, unmatched adventures. Man, I love this game so much. Let me know if you guys have played this matchup, uh, who I should play with next. I know I've got Dracula versus Mothman, and I think the Ant Queen on the docket. And then I want to play with Spider-Man too, because I just got this pack. I haven't played with him at all yet, so it'll be fun to play with him for the first time on camera. But if there's any other matchups you want me to play against Mothman, any particular minions you want, let me know. Uh, just leave a comment. But thanks for coming by the channel, guys. If you don't mind, hit that subscribe button. It means a lot to us. Believe it or not, it does. And uh, like I said, leave a comment down below if there's anything else you want us to cover. But until then, you guys go play some games.